Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the garden if you haven't been before here. My name is Cynthia. Today we are going to be transplanting some strawberries into my little grow uh, tower that I have. Now this right here guys, now you probably have seen it called green stock or whatever. The ones that go and pay expensive money for them, I can't afford that. So your girl went to Dollar Tree and got these. These were $1.25 each. And um, I'm gonna plant, re-transplant my strawberries in there. Now, if you were following me last year, you know that my strawberries never bloom. They did not bloom. So I had June bearing instead of ever bearing. I didn't know it was a different, it was my first time trying to grow strawberries and I didn't get any blooms, no berries, nothing last year. And so this year, cause they said you, it has to go through a frost. Well, y'all definitely know we just had a frost. And so um, now my strawberries are starting to get blooms. But I feel like they are too compacted into this container right here. I feel like they need some air. I have heard from a couple people that said that the strawberries need to have some space, some air, you know? So I want to transplant these into that little grow thing. And uh, so that's what I'm going to take y'all on this journey. Now, hopefully it will not shock the strawberries so much that they stop blooming. I hope not. Strawberries are pretty tough, you know, um, plant. So I also have some other ones in other containers, but I think I'm going to let them stand there. But this main one, this needs to have some space. So that is what we're going to do. <laughs> All right. Well, watch this. Hopefully it's not a mistake it gives the strawberries more breathing room and we get some berries y'all i want my mila to come out here in the summer that is my grandbaby if you don't know my pride and joy my heart right here um so i want her to be able to come out here to cc's garden and come and get her some fresh strawberries for the summer along with some blackberries and i'm uh a blackberry bush that hopefully is gonna produce this year as well so let's get started I hope y'all are ready make sure that you to give me a thumbs up on this I hope you are into gardening because I love gardening just lift it up and put it onto this tray because I think a lot of them have grown together I don't know if I can get <laughs> to try to lift it out like a big block together so let me put y'all back a little bit and I'm gonna see if I can just put it lift it up <laughs> okay that was a better thing than trying to uh, get it out there. Uh, let me see on this. I still got the tag on there. And yeah, that was my mistake, y'all. Right there, we're getting the June berry. I sh it should say ever berry. So if you go to get strawberries this year, ever berry that means that you will get strawberries the same year that you get them but i mean i will get strawberries this year look at that look at those beautiful roots let me pull y'all in y'all see them roots 
Look at those red berry roots. That's nice. Okay guys, so I have this dirt here. I mixed it with some more um, potting soil. I have my strawberries all separated. This one wanted to stay together. That was a big clump, but they have smaller ones. And what I'm going to do is get me one of these towers right here. Fill it with some dirt. Like this. I'm going to shake it around a little bit. And then I'm going to plant my new plants inside here. Alright, get my gloves on. Get some space. Go ahead and put in these new strawberries. Make sure you cover as much of the roots that you can. Don't forget that you're stacking these. So, I'm going to make sure that it's over enough that when you stack these, it gives it some space. So then you get ready to put your other ones on there. good to have different types of pots you can put stuff into and so since uh, my strawberries doesn't really want to go into that one I'm going to put a little dirt at the bottom alright guys I'm bringing y'all back out to the garden I didn't get to finish the video up um, that we did the other day with the strawberries and so I want to show you what this is looking like. We had crazy rain today and it has got cooler outside. So anyway, here is the strawberries. I did some in this container here. They do look really good even for, um, you know, me transplanting them. They are still having blooms on them. They seem to be bouncing back quickly let me take you over here to the strawberry tower and they look really good y'all look even some starting produce that wasn't before they have much more space i think this is wonderful look at that i did not have that many blooms coming up and you can see these are about to come up as well I mean $1.25 each on these little containers guys so one two three four five uh, five let's see one two three four five so like five dollars and no like six dollars because you know it's $1.25 store six something anyway come on that's worth it look how much space it has in there and I mean all these little places we're gonna have some strawberries oh Mila is gonna be happy my girls are gonna be happy about this and um, yeah 
I have these over here. I didn't move these. So I still have some over here and some in here. We're going to have some strawberries this year, y'all. 